Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Red. In the last part, I said we were gonna go and touch our... Go and touch... Go and catch our new team member. And in this part, we're going to do so. So, I have just five Pokemon with me. I went ahead and left e uh, Mr. Norris in the uh, PC. Because he's not really gonna be of much use to us where we're going. Now, this is the area... Right there, you see that Pokemon Center? We are right next to uh, the entrance to Rock Tunnel from Cerulean City. Uh, if you go north from that Pokemon Center, there's an area where you can enter the water. Go up there and surf down here. So, uh, sure, let's get in a fight. Sure, uh, Rambi. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, come on with it. Wow, are you a Pokemaniac too? Want to see my collection? Uh, not really. Unless you have Groudon cards, then I'm very interested. <laughs> and whatever. You and your Sasuke hair. What are you doing? Man, emos weren't invented. Oh, he's got Rhyhorns. Cool. Um, emos were not invented yet. Eh, whatever. Anyway. Well, they probably existed all over the place in anime, but whatever. <laughs> and the funny thing about Rhyhorn is that because mine actually has TMs used on it, I can actually take out an enemy Rhyhorn. And, you know, regular Rhyhorns can't do a thing against me. Hi, Lickitung. How you doing? That's good. I love Lickitung. He's awesome. I wish that he was more useful, though. I really do like him. He's cool. Might actually use him sometime, just because he deserves a spotlight. Eh, maybe. That'd be pretty cool. I like that. All right, but anyway. Um, ah, come on, just do Oh, right, defense curl. Um, okay, so stomp. I don't want to waste any of my good moves on a, just a little lick of tongue, so yeah. Okay. You're done. Hmph, I'm not angry. You're just furious. I don't know. Anyway, we have the power plant here. What could be in here? Anything useful? I doubt it. Uh, anyway. Um, now, I'm... Eh, let's see. We found a Carbos. Very cool. I'm going to save that for later. Um, in this area, there are quite a few... Uh, ooh! That was fast. Hey, Electabuzz. How you doing? Guess what? I said, ooh, an Electabuzz. So that instantly means I'm going to catch it. <laughs> I'm not even going to hide it anymore. I'm terrible at trying to, like, throw suspicion on what I'm going to catch. I'm not even going to do that anymore just because I was so terrible at it. I'm sorry. Ugh. I don't know. I don't really even know why I wanted to do that. I just like, oh, I wonder what he's going to get. I don't know. I guess people just... I wanted people to be in suspense, but I can't throw suspense onto anything, because I'm apparently terrible at that, but whatever. Anyway, Electabuzz is our next team member. We're going to be catching this guy, because he is awesome. He's so much better than all the other electric types, like, ever. I'm dead serious. Like, every electric type. He's the best. I love him. He's awesome. Okay. So, now he's asleep and really weak, and off-screen, I went to, um... I went back to Fuchsia City and picked up some Ultra Balls. So, yeah. Got 15 of those, but I'm going to use Great Balls on the Electabuzz. So, yeah. Anyway, one, two... Oh, come on! It's asleep! Let me catch this thing. I need it. I really do. And I actually... I brought TMs with me so I can teach him moves right here. Okay, two, three. Good. All right. Electabuzz was caught. New Pokedex data. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Electabuzz is an electric Pokemon, uh, normally found near power plants or in them. <laughs> they can wander away and cause major blackouts in cities. Do you want to give a nickname? Yes, I do. I'm going to re-nickname him later. I'm going to... Don't worry. I know what you're thinking. Oh, let us nickname him. I'm going to. Don't worry. I'm going to let you guys nickname him. I'm just nicknaming him what I did last time because I feel like it. And then I'll let you rename him later. That is what I always nicknamed him. I named him Defib. You know, because electricity, and eh, whatever. Anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and heal him up, and then I'm going to use my uh, repels and stuff. What's really nice about this area is that um, the levels are very similar to my current level, so he only has to grow two levels to get up to speed. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. And now, time to teach him some TMs. This is TM24 for Thunderbolt. I'm going to go ahead and give him this, and I should have brought another TM, but oh well. Um, he learned Thunderbolt. Now, uh, TM45, this will come in handy. Very much in handy. Uh, Thunder Wave. There you go. We're in Thunder Wave. Now, other people can learn Thunder Wave, but trust me, I like... I prefer to have it on Defib just because. Okay, so... 
He's definitely, he's really fast, and he's kind of a mixed attacker. He's um, more special than physical attack, but for now, I guess it, um, the way he leveled up, I guess he got a little bit more physical attack. He is a solid electric type, and um, his moveset is pretty much 100% done now. I just need to get him one more TM, and then he'll be done. I'm going to leave quick attack on there, just so uh, in case something gets really weak, I want to be absolutely sure that I get him. So, yeah. Uh, that's really much more needed in the 4th and 5th generation, but for now, I'll I'll just leave it. Because I can't really think of anything else to let him have. He doesn't really learn a whole ton of moves, but the moves that I give him, oh, I'm going to give him is pretty decent. It's going to be uh, Quick Attack, Psychic, Thunder Wave, and Thunderbolt. Oh, this is... Uh, sometimes in the power plant, uh, this power plant, by the way, it exists in both uh, Pokemon Red and Fire Red and Leaf Green. You know, like the, you know, the, the remakes of these games, it exists in both of those. Um, ah, you can find uh, Pokeballs on the ground, and they um, can either be items or Voltorb slash Electrodes. So watch out for that. Uh, I would highly recommend bringing either a defensive wall or just a ground type, because they can be very aggravating. Uh, what they like to do is put two items in the same room and then one of them be the electrode. I think this is the item. Nope, it's not. Okay. And normally they're so fast that you can't run away from them. So that's kind of aggravating. But I don't really care, so whatever. I mean, you saw what he did to me. I don't care. Oh, Swift. Fine. I thought he was going to explode again. But no. But no. I bet it... I bet if I brought out Charizard, I could probably run away from him, but nah, I don't really feel like bringing him out in an electric area, so yeah. Uh, I am going to be going for most of the items in here, mostly because there's one item in particular that I really think I'm going to want later on. I might not need it. Oh, come on! You're both... <sighs> Yeah, yeah, your stupid staticky sound and cry, it's stupid. Just like your face. Thank you. Just kill yourself. That makes me happy. Okay. And of course, you do 15 damage. Whoopee. Hey, did I actually compute that right? Yay, level 36. Now just six levels left. I'm probably gonna power level Rambi just because I want to have him be as uh. I want him to evolve earlier than uh, sooner than later. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Watch it. Electrode. Oh, TM25. Nice. Uh, TM25, if you remember, TM24 was Thunderbolt. TM25, bzz, uh, TM25 is Thunder, which is uh, the strongest electric type move. Um... Yeah, I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's the strongest electric type attack in the game. Uh, you might think that Zap Cannon may be a bit more powerful, or maybe Terra Volt, or I mean, um, something Volt that ha that uh, Zekrom has. But I'm pretty sure that uh, Thunder is still the, the most powerful because it's 120 power, not 100. Uh, I think Volt Tackle may be a little bit more powerful, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. It's been a while since I looked at damage numbers, so yeah. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure there's a nugget here. That's what I'm looking for. TM33, what's that? I don't even remember what that is. I'm not even going to bring up my freaking list. Uh, reflect, that's not really all that useful to me, so... I will leave that alone, because I do not want it. Alright, but, um, the items that I'm trying to get here are... It's basically just a nugget. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the glitch and kind of cheat with it. Because I'm a noob. <laughs> Not really because I'm a noob. It's just because with um, Charmeleon having evolved at level 42. Or at 43, actually. Because I evolved at level 43, his stats are lower than they should be. So I kind of want to have a little bit of an edge before I go into Pokemon Stadium. So, yeah. Some of the stuff in Pokemon Stadium is actually pretty difficult. It's more along the lines of um, multiplayer battles than it is uh, with, I mean, than it is for like single player battles. You know how in single player you can swap out and stuff like that before an enemy makes a move. Well, in multiplayer you can't do that. You can swap out before they make a move, but well, it, it's difficult to explain if you haven't played multiplayer 
Pokemon. It's 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 way different. Oh hi Electrode, how you doing? Anyway, oh hey, you know what? I just thought of something. You know how I always say, "Ooh, I uh, uh, ooh, a p name a Pokemon that I'm going to catch." You know how I always do that? I ought to do that for every Pokemon. That way I can really throw people off. Then they'll really not know what I'm going to get. <laughs> uh, that'd be pretty funny. But probably people would probably get really annoyed at that, so no, I won't do that. Plus, I probably won't even remember to do it at all, so yeah. Huh? What is this? A bird in an electric area? How could he possibly be alive? Well, he's a special bird. He's a special needs bird! I don't know. Um... Now, I'm actually going to use Electabuzz for this uh, first part of the fight. Uh, I'm going to use Electabuzz to, um, you know, weaken him and stuff. And then I'm going to, uh, you know, you, I'm going to use Rambi to kind of wall him. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to save first because this is quite a unique Pokemon here. For those of you that don't know anything about it. So, save the game and... Wild Zapdos appeared! This is one of three legendary bird Pokemon. And Zapdos, get it? Uno, dos, tres, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Anyway, that's the whole thing with uh, these uh, Pokemon's names. They have the Spanish number equivalent, or well, Spanish numbers one, two, three at the end of their name. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna start off with a Thunder Wave just to paralyze it, and yeah. That will do good. Holy jeez, that did not do much. Okay, I thought it was going to do a lot more. Apparently not. Uh, Zapdos is a staggering level 50 when you first find it. It is astronomically strong. Ow. All right, but uh, Defib is actually... Oh, well, Defib. Uh, I'll call him Defib for now. I uh, used next Pokemon. Yes. Um, Defib is actually a pretty decent counter slash wall for this thing, but Rambi is really going to just destroy it in the walling department. Uh, the only moves that it knows, the only attacking moves that it knows, are Thundershock and Drill Peck, both of which are resisted by Rambi. Drill Peck is a very, very pow- Ow! Jeez! Drill Peck is a very powerful flying-type move, though. It is an 80 or 85 base power flying-type move, and at level 50 and with that flying subtype, it is very powerful. Now... The thing about these guys, when I was talking about legendaries and ubers and stuff, and you know how you can miss them? Well, if you don't have a status... Oh, see, right there. If you either don't have a status condition on them, or you just don't have them weakened enough, you will always, always miss them. So be careful about that, okay? Now, you don't need anything stronger than paralysis to catch them. Please don't die. Whew, good. Okay. I thought he was dead there for a second. Alright, so, come on. Now, no one here... Okay, I just gotta stop for a second and show this. I will not show, just tell. No one is gonna believe me, but on my practice run of this game, every single solitary legendary bird that I ran into, and there's three, every single one I caught them in one try. I actually have a video saved because I caught... Okay, you know, I'm just going to spoil it. Who cares? The first two are Articuno and Zapdos. The third one is Moltres. The first two, I caught Zapdos and Articuno both in one shot. And then I, I started catching on. And then I, I recorded a video of Moltres. I caught Moltres in one minute. Actually, no, it was under a minute. I'm going to show that when we get there, but I just thought I'd point that out. So anyway, um, I'm trying to decide if I should use a Great Ball or an, or an Ultra Ball. I'll use an Ultra Ball, sure. I bought him for this. Okay, come on. One shot. Oh, I missed! How did I miss? Oh, no. Don't tell me I can't do it with paralysis. No! Are you serious? I thought you could do this with paralysis. I know I did it with paralysis before. Hmm. Let's see. Crap, I gotta... Mm. 
You know what? I'm gonna have to stop the recording and then just come right back to this fight. I'm not gonna end the video off now. I'm gonna... You know, hang on. Okay, and so we're back. As you can see, I got Zapdos down to the same amount of HP. And, off-screen, I have used no Great Balls. We used two to capture, um... We used two to capture Electabuzz before, and I have not used any Ultra Balls. So we're back. I have only weakened him. That is it, okay? I have not used any other balls. And now we have Sandman out here. I'll show you my team. I sent Rambi out first, hit him with two Rock Slides, and got lucky and got him down to one hit. And then I sent Doduo out as a uh, Death Fodder. And now we're at Sandman. I'm going to put him to sleep this time, because apparently I have to put him to sleep for this to work, which is really frustrating. Because sleep is harder to hit than perhaps... Oh, <laughs> Screw you. You know, I might just decide I don't even want to catch you and just kill you. I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that. I hope you know that, Zapdos. I really hope you do. And all this, just to I swear, thank you, God. Yes! Whew! I knew that was gonna hit. Okay, now. Item? Um... You know what, I, I can't do anything else. So, you know what? I swear, if this does not work, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, he is at 1 HP, and he is asleep, and it's Ultra Balls. The best balls you can have in this game without using the best. So, can we get him in one shot? Let's see. As long as it doesn't miss. Oh, fine. Alright. I can accept that. Fine, you jerk. Come on. Ah, come on, you're at 1 HP. <sighs> really? I swear, if it misses... Seriously? You know what, I'll find. I'll just send out Electabuzz. Let's see if we can get him with Paralysis this time. Because I do not understand why that did not work. Because... I swear to you... I will swear to you on a stack of Bibles... That... Yeah, yeah, it's stolen from freaking Pirates of the Caribbean. Whatever. I'll swear to you on a stack of Bibles... That I caught these guys using Thunder Wave and not Hypnosis. I swear, I did. I don't know why it's not working now. Why isn't it working now? I do not understand this. You know what? Screw it. I don't care. I don't freaking care. I'm not going to use it. I'll be the first person to do a Pokemon LP where I kill all these guys. I don't freaking care. Screw you, Zapdos. That's what you get. Yeah, you think I... I don't pull no punches, people. I'm not pulling any punches. I am not holding back. I don't, don't freaking care. I'll kill you if you annoy me. And trust me, he annoyed me. I don't freaking care. If the, if you're going to be difficult, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> God, that sounds so stupid. But you know what? I don't care. I don't freaking care. I'm not going to use it. Huh. <sighs> stupid game. Stupid programming. Okay, enough, enough. <laughs> God. Yeah, I, and I know you're thinking, it's like, oh, he's just going to go back and catch it. No, I'm not. Watch this. Saving. After I killed Zapdos. I just saved. I don't care. Frick you, Zapdos. <sighs> okay, so now we're healed. I think we are. Uh, yes, we are. Okay, so uh, did I already come in here? This is Mr. Psychic's house. You can come in here, and this is in Saffron City, by the way, the site of the next gym. Uh, wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. Received TM29. Awesome. That is Psychic. It's the most powerful Psychic-type move in the game right now. Or, well, in this generation. There are more powerful ones that exist, but just not in this game. So, uh, Rathian, Sandman, and Defib can all learn this. But we're going to teach it to Defib, because he's a little bit more useful. Because he's a special attacker, and Sandman's going to be learning it through leveling up anyway. So yeah. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get rid of Leer. Because he does not need Leer. Anyway, and he learned Psychic. Awesome. Uh, just so you know, um, uh, Defib is going to have the name Defib for a little while. Because I'm going to do some, I'm going to be pre-recording, obviously, like, you know, how I always do to be pre-recording, so he's going to have uh, the nickname of Defib for a while. Maybe for another three or four videos after this. I don't really know. Probably maybe th two or three. I don't know how much I'm going to pre-record. So, yeah. 
Uh, now that we've killed Zapdos, and I have begun my uh, jihad against the legendary birds, if they decide to be douchebags to me, I'm going to end it off. And in the next part, we're going to go and challenge the thing that's here. See you guys then.